Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Thursday evening prayer and devotional. Um, and we welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. Just a couple of announcements before we start with this. Uh, uh, I'm going to read a scripture passage to you, and then um, we're going to pray together. Uh, just a reminder that this Sunday is our service at 9.15, and all of you are welcome to come. We can, uh, you can come into the church, and we have social distancing, and, and uh, we wear masks, and we'll keep you safe. And uh, you can also stay out in the parking lot and, and have our drive-in service from there. And also you can stay at home and watch social media. So there are several ways that you can experience uh, worship service on Sunday. And again, on Wednesdays and Thursdays, we have our devotion Bible study. And you are welcome to come. And as you are this evening, you are joining us uh, in, our, in our prayer time and devotional. I want to read uh, to you from Luke's Gospel, Luke chapter 22. And I'm reading verses 39 through 46. Luke chapter 20, 22, verses 39 through 46. And this is Jesus' praise on the Mount of Olives. This is prior uh, to his arrest and his passion. He came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. So he went there regularly, as he said, they're saying. When he reached the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not come into the time of trial. Then he withdrew from them about a stone's throw, a little ways away, knelt down and prayed. He was by himself. He was being alone with God. And he prayed these words, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. In other words, he knew that the cross was coming. He knew that the passion was coming. He knew that it was going to be put to death. And he was saying, if there's any chance of you allowing this to go in another direction, please, please do so. However, if it is your will for me to suffer, then let it be. Then an angel of, from heaven appeared to him and gave him strength. In his anguish, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down on the ground. When he got up from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping because of grief. And he said to them, Why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. So Jesus knew that there is power in prayer, and we're going to pray tonight. <clears throat> Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and, and, and uh, glory for all that you have given us today. <clears throat> Be with us in the next several days and bless us. We pray for direction. We pray for wisdom. We pray for guidance. We pray for forgiveness that you would wash and cleanse each of us from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet of our sins and our iniquities and that you would cleanse us dear God and make us as white as snow that we may come into your presence clean and worthy and in the name of Jesus and I love saying this we are cleansed and we are forgiven now that we are worthy we come before thy throne of grace and we seek you and we call upon your name father God I know for myself this week has been hectic it's been it's been full of all kind of obstacles and challenges and we, I pray that you continue to give me strength and give all of us strength who have gone through a difficult time this week and bless us. And we pray that in the name of Jesus Christ that you watch over us in the next couple of days until we meet again on Sunday, that you give us the strength that we need, that, that strength that can only come from you. If we rely on our own strength, we'll fall on our faces and, and where, we, where we go by ourselves and where we think we are to be led it's not going to be in the right place. So you lead us, and we surrender ourselves to you. And I know for many of you, it's hard to do that. It's hard to surrender yourself uh, uh, to, to God Almighty. And what Jesus said, not my will, but your will uh, be done. Give us that strength that we can be able to surrender ourselves to you, Father. And give us the grace and, and, and the wisdom and the knowledge to live our lives and live it abundantly. Those of you who are continuing to struggle with, with this COVID epidemic and the pandemic and with all the uh, tension that's not only in our country but around the world, we pray for peace. The COVID virus will, event, uh, will eventually end. It will come to an end. And someday we can look back and say that it was a challenge, it was an obstacle, but we made it through. The same with all the obstacles and challenges that's happening around our country. We'll get beyond it. And, and you will lead us, and there will be peace. 
Shalom. So bless us this evening and bless the ministry of Faith United Methodist Church and bless those who are who are in hospitals and nursing homes, those who are who are sick at home and 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 just uh, experiencing whatever it is uh, you're experiencing. We pray for your blessings upon you. Those who are with cancer, those with heart problems, those who are facing surgery, we pray for you today. And I lift up my hands and I ask my hands and I ask God to reach out and touch each and every one of you who are watching this video and those who are all around us in our church and in our community and beyond, that God would touch you and bless you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Will you join me in praying the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. See you Sunday. God bless.